new details in the car accident that injured several people, including Oakland County Executive L. Brooks Patterson. Only on 7 Action News reporter Michael Rosenfield has obtained the police reports and witnesses' statements that shed some light on what really happened. New details coming to light about the horrific car crash involving Oakland County Executive L. Brooks Patterson. Action News has obtained this stack of police reports on the crash and these photos of both cars involved. The documents note that Patterson's seatbelt was buckled, but not properly. More on that later. Anthony Pernito, who was on Walton Boulevard, was turning onto Updike Road on a yellow blinking light. As he made the turn, he collided with Patterson's vehicle. Pernito would tell police in this handwritten statement, all I know is the car came out of nowhere and we had impact. Pernito's passenger, Raymond Recchia, says he had just bent down to pick up a file and didn't see the actual crash. Recchia was trapped in the car. Pernito was walking around and bleeding from his head when police arrived. When investigators got to the scene, Patterson was sitting on the roadway, bleeding significantly from the head. His driver, James Cram, was slumped over the center console, telling police he was unable to move his body. Both cars were out here on Walton Boulevard. Cram's Chrysler 300 was heading eastbound and traveling at 54 miles an hour a split second before the crash, according to these police reports. The speed limit out here is 45. Pranito was westbound on Walton, turning south, and this light blue 2012 Volkswagen Passat heavily decorated with advertisements. Pranito, a sales manager with CBS Radio, told police Bosch had loaned him the vehicle for advertising and exposure purposes for the Woodward Dream Cruise. Police say the signals were working properly and the weather conditions were dry. Rain moved in about 30 minutes after the crash. Alcohol or drugs are not believed to be factors according to prior statements from investigators. The police reports say Pernito screamed to his passenger to hold on just before the impact. Nobody was wearing a seatbelt except Recchia, although the report notes Patterson's seatbelt was buckled, but Patterson had looped the seatbelt behind the seat and secured the buckle. In Auburn Hills, Michael Rosenfield, 7 Action News.